Okay, Steve. The Bray is a public nonprofit educational institution dedicated to the enrichment of the ceramic arts. Its primary mission is to provide an environment that stimulates creative work in ceramics. It's sort of a think tank for ceramic art. This is the original pottery building that was built in the summer of 51. The resident artist program is the heart of the Bray. Over 200 artists from around the world apply annually for funded residencies that range from one month up to two years. It was about 10 year-round studios and then 10 additional studios in the summer. Selections are based on the quality of the work and the diversity of the group. This is a Korean master potter, Kang Hyo Lee, who's decorating a large vessel he built in one day. Top artists in the field are invited to present specialized workshops that draw a national audience. They work in the studios with the residents and they sort of stimulate the dialogue and artistic exchange among the group. Bray operates a clay supply business, it serves the region selling raw materials, tools and equipment and a wide range of premixed clay that's made on site. Staff offers excellent customer service and support to the residents and the profits go to support the foundation's mission. Exciting, and I mean exciting, events take place at the Bray throughout the year. Community classes, workshops, exhibition openings, artist lectures, these are all ways you can be part of this creative, vibrant community. The May 9th Mother's Day sale and the annual Brickyard on July 25th are not to be missed. The 26-acre Western Clay Brickyard site provides a backdrop for this artist community. Many of the old buildings have been repurposed for different uses and other areas are being analyzed and sensitively stabilized. A partnership with UPenn brought these students to learn conservation practices, stabilizing a beehive brick kiln. This bust of Archie Bray is in Robert Harrison's Potter Shrine, one of many site-specific sculptures that are at the Bray. A walking tour encourages visitors to explore the grounds and discover layers of art residue that have developed over 25, 65 years of creative practice, not 25 years. In the beginning, there was Archie Bray, the son of an immigrant brickmaker from England who grew up working in Helena at the brick factory and then went on to build the biggest clay products fac company in Montana. He's not a maker himself, Archie had a passion for the arts. And rather than collect art, he collected artists. In 51, Archie hired two Montana State grads, Peter Volkus and Rudy Audio, to help build a pottery and be its first resident artist. This was a unique opportunity for its time. This seminal workshop in 52 brought the world to Helena and the eager young minds of Volkus and Audio. Volkus was son of, a, of Greek immigrants and was born and raised right here in Bozeman where he returned to college after, on the GI Bill after serving as a tail gunner in World War II. His brother Manny ran the Burger Inn Diner on Main Street. He was a generous and powerful character with tremendous talent and abstract expressionist spirit. Audio was the son of Finnish immigrants and he was raised in Butte. His lyrical drawings earned him the title the Matisse of Ceramics. Rudy built the ceramics probing program at the University of Montana. Both Audio and Volkus are legends and you'll find their work in places like the Museum of Modern Art. Pete and Rudy were studying art at Montana State College with Francis Senska and Jesse Wilbur when my parents arrived in 1949. My dad had been hired to teach painting. I heard many stories about how Pete and Rudy met Archie when Francis brought them to Helena to visit the brickyard. Frances Senska is often referred to as the grandmother of ceramics in Montana. Born and raised in Cameroon, Africa, Frances taught Bauhaus design, resourcefulness, and the reverence for the handmade. She dug her clay and glazed materials from sites around Montana, and her pottery is found throughout Montana homes. Dave and Ann Shana were at the Bray when the foreclosed brick factory was auctioned off, and the pottery is purchased and secured for the future. Shainer received the first National Endowment for the Arts grant ever received in the field of crafts for the Bray and focused his attention on bringing the nation's top craftsmen to the Bray. New studios named in their honor. The Bray director has always been an artist and their vision sets a tone and direction for the place. As we approach the 65th year, this uh, philosophy is firmly in place. 
Stephen Young leads the current director and balances his time between studio practice and managing the organization. The place is thriving. Residents who spend time at the Bray often fall from Montana and decide to make our state their home. Montana's definitely on the map for ceramic activity. Your one-stop website to explore the wide open range of, of ac activity is montanaclay.org. The wheels are spinning right here at Montana State University. Following in Francis's footsteps, the program has been shaped by artists such as Jim Barnaby, Rick Pope, and Michael Peed. MSU graduates are all over the place. They populate the professional field. We currently have five ceramic artists on the faculty with exhibition and research activity taking us around the world. In Missoula, they're on fire. It's amazing. Established by Rudy Audio in the early 50s, the faculty now includes Beth Lowe, Trey Hill, and Julia Galloway. This week, on Friday, we open a show with MSU and UM students at the Archie Bray, an exhibition we do every other year. Clay art centers from, such as the Red Lodge Clay Center, and the Clay Studio of Missoula contribute to the ceramic art landscape in the state. Organizations offer residencies, community classes, workshops, and the opportunity to see and buy really great ceramic art. In an early letter to fellow foundation founder, Branson Stevenson, Archie Bray wrote eloquently about the dreams of his art center, asking, can we do it? What a joy it is to do it. That spirit's alive and well in the Montana clay community, and as Archie said, there's lots of bricks to lay Branson, lots of bricks. Thanks. Mm -hmm.